I'm Catherine Earls. I'm Ruin Torn. And this is Tic Tac Toe. And what we basically did was um, we used our Lab 7 and just modified it a little bit so that we can detect a winner on the screen and we can um, prevent overriding the players. We're using button as the in like the buttons as the inputs and our Jello as the reset button. So. So, uh, so as you see, you can play just by pushing each button, and it'll automatically switch players. Um, and in this case, red is one. And because red won, we can reset the game now just by pressing the jello. The, the reset button works off this thing called the, uh, this chip called the QT110. And uh, it converts, it senses the capacitance change in the jello and converts that to a signal that outputs to our code. The, uh, the input buttons are, they're not, they're going through a hard wire, uh, uh, what do you call it, a priority encoder. And that's going to, that's sending our signal as 4-bit info into our, uh, our Nexus board. Um, that's pretty much it. We were originally going to go the entire thing to be touch sensitive, like touching each jello would actually <laughs> count as each pit bit. But the problem with that was... Uh, our chip didn't work. Yeah, our chip didn't work. I think I messed up on the surface um, soldering. Touch and the jello again. Soldering. That'd be this guy right here. <laughs> Do it, it again. Pretty, though. Okay, well... Touch that jello. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually near field sensitive. So just getting close to the jello uh, will oh. change it. Yes. It's very weird. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks.